Philadelphia faces Orlando later tonight over in the Kia Centre, looking to notch their fourth straight victory inside a week. Something that began last Friday night with a 112-93 win over the Sacramento Kings. All of those last three wins for the Philadelphia 76ers did come at home for them, however, and they haven't fared as well on the road a late. You know, lost both of their recent two games away from home to the Chicago Bulls and Atlanta Hawks, respectively, by, you know, a pretty significant double-digit average margin when combining both of those games together. Uh, that last road loss, especially to the Hawks, was tough for Philly, as with just under a minute remaining on the clock, you know, the Sixers had the four-point lead in that game, and on a 15 to 6 score and run as well, only to give that lead away late and simply get run over in overtime as well. That kind of late game fall off is something we've seen all too regularly from Philadelphia this season. Also ranking number one in the league in second quarter points scored this year. They're dropping all the way down to 13th when comparing that form to their fourth quarter form away from home and an even worse 26th in the league in the fourth quarter across the last three starts as well, despite. You know, all of those last three games being victories. So, for Orlando, they've really struggled late as well. You know, they've lost four of the last five games overall with, you know, Franz Wagner out for tonight's matchup as well. Wagner averaging 20.9 points per game this season. That sits only behind Paolo Banchero, who it's fair to say the Magic have been overly relying on of late. You know, he leads Orlando in points, rebounds and assists this season. So, you know, with the fact Orlando are averaging a pretty paltry 100.7 points per game across their last three starts, with the fact also that the Magic ranked 24th in offensive efficiency this season. Also, you know, last in the league in three-point shooting as well. It likely won't take a whole lot for Philadelphia to shut this team down later tonight. That's something they already managed in their previous matchup as well back in December. You know, Philly held Orlando in that game to just 92 total points. And we look at the team right next to Orlando, in the offensive efficiency ratings this year, you know, the Chicago Bulls and Philadelphia held them to just 97 points as well. So despite all of their recent issues away from home, um, you know, despite that noticeable drop off we just talked about late in games as well. You know, if the Sixers are switched on here tonight in any capacity, you know, I believe they clear this five point hurdle kind of with minimum fuss in Orlando uh, and get the win and cover as a result. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And remember to lock in code SUPER20, SUPER20, which gets you 20% off any all-access pass of your choice from a one-day all-access pass all the way through to one year. So make sure and take advantage of that before it expires on Sunday. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like button. It makes a huge difference. And for even more great betting content, feel free to check out one of our other videos listed on your screen right now.